Hey everyone, Dylan here from Diamond Spotlight. If you are looking to purchase a princess cut diamond engagement ring from James Allen, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I get a lot of questions of people asking, do the diamonds on James Allen's website actually look as good as they do on the website in real life? Am I actually getting what's on the website? Does it look that good in real life in my engagement ring? And so I'm gonna answer that question today by showing you an example. I'm gonna show you a diamond that we purchased on their website what it looked like on the website, and then show you what it looks like in real life. The diamond that we're looking at today is a one carat princess cut diamond. It is a G in color, VVS2 in clarity. This is a $1,940 diamond. Now this is a lab diamond. So for this example, we're using a lab diamond. So let's go ahead and place them side by side and take a look. So here on the left, we have the diamond on the website. When we ordered it, this is what it looked like. And here on the right, this is showing the diamond in real life with a macro lens. We're right around probably 7.30, 8 o'clock, sun's going down, nice golden hour. We have the macro lens here to give you a very, very close-up shot. And as you can see, I think that they're actually very consistent. The lighting hue might be a little bit different. I feel like on the right side, we have a little bit more of an orangey light because the sun is going down. But what I can do is cut over to this clip. This clip on the right was filmed right around noon. And you can see that this is some very, very harsh lighting. This is probably like worst case scenario for a diamond, putting some very harsh light on it. It's gonna bring out any imperfections, but you can actually see that it's very, very sparkly and we're getting a little bit more of that wider look. Now we can't truly get that wider look because we're not shining the diamond directly into LEDs but that harsh lighting is gonna give that nice sparkle, but we're gonna see a little bit more of the color of the diamond, the true color of the diamond, as well as any imperfections. So overall, viewing it on the website and actually seeing it with my own two eyes in a variety of different lighting conditions, I think that James Allen does a pretty good job at giving you a fair representation of what the diamond looks like. Yes, I do think they have like best case scenario lighting and they really know how to set the diamonds up to look good and to get every single angle to make them very flashy and nice. But the diamond I actually received does look like the photos. It doesn't have any inclusions. It has like an ever so small slight inclusion in the diamond that I was able to see in real life if I really, really looked for it. And I was able to see that in their super zoom. So I feel like it's pretty transparent. Yes, it's hard to exactly recreate their lighting and it for, to look perfect like it does on the site, but I do feel like it's pretty fair. From all of my experience unboxing these rings, the only thing that I feel is not really pictured on the website as good as it is in real life, seeing it with your own two eyes, is if your ring has any cloudiness or like haziness to it. If you're in your ring description, if it says it has clouds or haziness, I would avoid those diamonds because that's not pictured as well on James Allen's website. So I would avoid those, but most good diamonds aren't gonna have that cloudiness or haziness, and I would steer away from that in general anyways. So I hope this video was helpful and gives you a little bit more confidence in buying from their site. As always, if you don't like what you get, you can send it back and you can get a full refund. I know when I bought my fiance's engagement ring, I was a little bit nervous about buying online, but I thought, well, I got that return policy. I'll just send it back if I don't like it. Uh, but it ended up actually working out really great. And that's kind of what started all of these videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. If you guys are interested in the setting that I showed in this video or looking at James Allen's engagement rings, I will have a link down in the video description. Check out that link and it will send you over to the exact setting that you're looking at in this video if you want to reference it. All right, thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.